flash powder is a pyrotechnic mixture used to produce enough fanciful illuminations and also used to produce heavy explosions. Generally, flash powder is composed of oxidizing agents and a metallic foil. Unlike gunpowder, the foil here is not charcoal, neither is it sulfur, rather a metallic powder, a fine powder of magnesium or aluminium. In this video, I used 30% of magnesium powder, 40% of uh, aluminium powder and 30% uh, of potassium chlorate as the oxidizing agent. The percentage compositions of flash powder may vary depending on the intended usage. Here I use lower percent of the oxidizing agent which may not bring a faster ignition but let me try this and see what it will give. In some compositions they use up to 60% of the oxidizing agent then 40% of the fuel. Warning, flash powder is unstable and sensitive to shock, especially when sulfur or any acid is added to it. So one should be very careful while mixing and also during storage and during transportation of flash powder. Though this mixture may not ignite easily, may not fire easily, but whenever it starts firing it causes a lot of explosion and unexpected fire outbreak. So be careful. The flash powder is ready now, testing. The powder doesn't fire easily, so we need gunpowder to set it on fire. The powder did not ignite because of low percentage of the oxidizing agent, so let's go increase the percentage to 35% and see what happens. After adding more potassium chlorate, let's see what happens. We increased it from 30 to 35 percent. Wow, that's excellent. The formulation is working well. 35 percent to 65 percent. 5% of the oxidizing agent, then 65% of the fine powder. That's the powder of uh, magnesium and the uh, aluminium all together. That's wonderful. Let's try it again and see the beautiful flashes of light with high illumination. Now let's check if the flash powder can ignite on its own without using gunpowder. No, 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 it's not working, it doesn't fire on its own. Let's try it again. No, 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 it's not, it's not. So we need the powder, we need the black powder, that's the gunpowder. It's necessary because it doesn't fire on its own, but in the presence of the gunpowder, Yes, we now add it. The yellow thing you are seeing there is the crayon. We are checking if it can produce characteristics yellow color when ignited. Let's go on. So gunpowder is used to fire around the flash powder. That doesn't mean you play with fire around flash powder because it will ignite, but not easily. Careful. One should know that apart from potassium chlorate, other oxidizing agents like barium nitrate can also be used. Even potassium nitrate can also be used in flash powder. Here we mix the flash powder with a stronger oxidizing agent. Let's watch the color of the flame and how long it will last. Wow, that's wonderful. Checking the report produced by flash powder when confined. 
detail will be explained in our next video. This is just little of what will happen. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed. We love you.